All right, Pandemic Legion with the same setup. Lightning strikes twice. <laughs> why, why bring the same one? Okay, so that was quite interesting. Uh, we wouldn't have typically brought two of the same setups uh, right after each other. As we were saying, though, um, what we've seen kind of developing today is that people haven't been preparing to counter ECM setups all throughout the day, the first part of the day. Um, a lot more teams brought ECM, but they did quite well. They weren't countered. So I'm fairly sure Seamus thought that, well, you know, if nobody's going to counter us, why not? Bring it again, obliterate them, make people think that it's a really strong setup when it's I, actually quite easy to counter. I think that they're mainly following Pandemic Legion's real strategy of being the smuggest team in the Alliance. <laughs> uh, We're not smug. Come on. <laughs> as he says, as he leans back with a big <laughs> smile. <laughs> We're not smug at but, all. But, but, but the side win from this is also that at this point you've only developed one, set, uh, developed one setup. Absolutely. Mm haven't had to put any pull anything out, else out of the bag so far as peel have the one setup and the rest of them are unknown well now if the Maybe if I keep bringing ECM every time who knows it, mm -hmm. no no matter whether Hydra wins or not tomorrow or later actually in the next match uh, pandemic Legion is secured they are top two no yep. matter what they bring so either if Hydra wins then it's whatever but if Hydra loses even then they could bring that team again and be okay even if they lose a good point. Bring it tomorrow and you've still not shown any other than one setup. You're in the finals and I mean this setup kind of wins games. Yeah, it, it has but it hasn't been completely 100% so far in this tournament. There have been setups that beat it. I think the the, the one Proteus one we were talking about, <coughs> I'm not sure if it was a drone heavy setup or not, but they beat up an ECM. Yes, team that's true. With, with that is true. So um, what about ECCMs? Well, you know, not a lot of people have seen to have fielded them except for that Proteus Myrmidon team, mm -hmm. yeah. as we saw. So if people don't start fitting those yeah. ECCMs in, they're going to get completely dominated by these ECM heavy teams. Yeah. I didn't actually look at the setups. I guess you guys had a better view on it, but they were actually fielding ECCMs. No, I'm all right. just guessing. All right, all right, I, uh, all right. I'd be surprised. It looked, it looked okay. All right, all right. Yeah, okay, because that's not really a, that's not really a line of modules we see a lot in the Alliance tournament. But maybe but they'll get the renaissance. It is a direct counter to it what is. people yeah. are using here. It's one of those things where if they end up not using an ECM mm. team, then you're, you just wasted a whole lot of modules on that mm. ECCM. So it's, it's a risk. But if perhaps you know what they're bringing through some mm. extracurricular means, it could be the difference maker. Right. Or if you've seen them field those kinds of themes uh, before, as well as the developing theme within the uh, tournament, as we've seen today, especially has been very ECM heavy. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to see that continue throughout the day. Um, you don't have to fit ECCM on the ship <coughs> itself, though. You don't have to uh, waste the module on, for example, a Proteus. You can put them on the frigates instead, which is quite typically what That's we see true. stilettos, Remote for example, ECCM. do. Bring remote ECCM, which is extremely strong, actually. That's actually what we saw some of the Badgers let tournament do as well. Yeah. True. The power of the Badger Mark II mm -hmm. is uh, undeniable. <laughs> Love those Badgers. I think that it's very important, especially not so much for Pentagon Legion because they work very hard in their teams, but some of the other teams may be flying similar setups because mm. that's the setup they've practiced and they don't really feel comfortable flying those setups. They've maybe practiced not quite as much. So, Practice makes perfect. Practice sure. makes perfect. Uh, one of the questions we're getting from the, uh, from the forum is from Codemaster28. Uh, it seems like most of the players are from 2003, 2004. What are the current chances of newer players being able to do well within the tournaments? Well, it's actually an interesting question. Uh, one of the uh, tidbits that uh, the PL team wanted me to uh, mm. share with you is that team there fielded 1 billion skill points as total. All right. That is That's a lot uh, of skill points. Yeah. But if a team is, if a player is very mm. specialized in mm. his skill training plan, he yeah. can still get enough skill points in the right place, even if he doesn't have 100 million, mm. uh, that he's going to be effective in the tournament. Yeah. He's obviously not going to have too many different chips he can fly, mm. but he could fly one or two chips really well. Yeah, I mean, I stopped training around the 50 to 60 million SP range because, well, after that, well, you know, why bother? Just train up another alt. Um, some people like Rivi are probably lower skill mm. points mm. overall, but very specialized. You can mm. pray and you can build 
tournament specialized characters, which a lot of teams now have started to do. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the power of skill points is undeniable in certain situations, especially teams like that, like the ECM team, where a single miss jam, if you have five percent less jam strength, can be can make or break you. Um, and I think especially some of the really tight matches, like where if that rupture we saw yesterday maybe had one level higher in a damage skill, they could have taken out that material and gotten the full hundred points. Where the real power of uh, having a lot of skill points is is when you're fielding some very weird combinations mm. of mind links and ships, for example. Yeah. We had a trouble a couple of years ago to find information warfare mind links mm. in Minmatar ships with good gunnery, for yeah. example, in a, yeah. on a, a, a command ship and yeah. so on and so forth. And I mean, probably also in terms of flexibility, in terms of uh, same pilots, different ships. So when you go away from the PLECM, if you want to keep the same pilots there, you rely on them to fly something else as well. Uh, one thing, though, I do probably d disagree. I don't think that most of the people in this tournament are 2003, 2004. It's probably a bit later. But I mean, as long as you can fly a frigate or a battle cruiser, I mean, you could really participate. Every, not every, most teams <coughs> have some low skill point requirements. Mm. Battle cruisers, industrials, you yeah. know, whatever. These are not ships that require 100 million skill points. Then again, I mean, a couple of tournaments ago, we had Seamus pretty much flying in every single match in a vigil. And yeah. he has 100 and whatever yeah. million skill points. So, you know, you don't necessarily need those either, yeah. but... It you know. certainly doesn't hurt. No, it doesn't hurt. Unless hurt. you get potted. That kind of hurts. <laughs> but then you also get reimbursed. Oh, very That's true. Good. We saw that. We saw that. The uh, grudge match where they shot the pod and... Uh, so accidentally well, shot the pod. Them, yeah. accidentally. Well, keep in mind, people have been potted immediately mm. before matches. Mm. They've undocked from stations to, say, set their overview, and mm. someone the suicide ganked them in the middle of the Empire. And then that can really Who hurt you. do that? Mm. That, that would so be, rude. that's despicable. Die. So rude. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Indra <laughs> Sebui Shore. Sometimes I just kind of have to read these that's, names. That takes some time. Three or four times. Uh, What's the single greatest improvement to the EVE universe since its release? Wow, I think a lot of years to think Since about. its release, I think it's probably the graphical improvements right. because it made it look like a modern game. People, I don't think, would be... We, we wouldn't be still getting new subscribers if the game looked the same way it did as it did in 2003. Then again, some of us fly with no graphics on whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I think the single best improvement in the game uh, is the removal of uh, Area of Effect Doomsdays. Yeah, I have to agree with that. That's man, it was no fun to play on zero zero back when you could wipe out a grid in one mm. shot. Of course, it was just replaced by super caps, which are no more fun to have a thousand on the field. But you know, unless you know how to counter them and kill them, and that would be with more super caps. <laughs> Not at all. Sub caps, hero cats, hero cats. Go look that up. It's tempest with neutralizers. Kill super cap in under two minutes. Yes, but only kill super caps. Very specialized. If you bring a... Well, according to you, the only thing we're bringing is super caps, so... Well, and what if they all just magically had connection problems all at the same time? I would like to apologize <laughs> to the <laughs> for the amount of all smoothness right, all right. bouncing between <clears throat> these two. Did, did you mention one? Oh, you said the remote doomsday. Yeah, that's right. probably the best, um, but there's been so many changes. He's so. just that bitter because we tried to kill his time. Can we build a wall? He did. Right. Let, let, let's get another one. Uh, where are the hacks? Engine. This is Sakura <laughs> Nihil. Where are the hacks? The this hacks. Tons of command ships and tech threes, but rarely any hacks. The hacks, hacks are the too points. expensive for the points. The points are too expensive. Yeah. All right. Enough VHP. All right. Yeah, it's, it's very simple. I think we're all mm. unanimous on that one. Yeah. It's not worth 13 points. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, so Ushura Khan versus Hydra Reloaded. Uh, if Hydra Reloaded win, uh, they're going to do uh, very well. They will probably be guaranteed. Next up is, well, after that is AAA versus Raiden. Raiden were a bit of a disappointment. Well, they are a former Bob Alliance. I don't so. think they were a disappointment as much as Dark Side just outplayed them. They had a better setup overall, and they just got countered. Maybe they had more intel. Raiden's setup was solid. I think they won't have trouble with AAA, I don't believe. Well, yeah, Raiden did bring much. the very commonly seen Slepner-based <coughs> setup that everyone yep. else has been flying and they, having success with. Yep. 
They yeah, brought I, a rush team. They were countered by an anti-rush team and just uh, eight. I think Raiden was hurt by not bringing their most comfortable setup, which would have been 10 super caps. Ah, um, <laughs> this is important. <laughs> That's their typical setup, at least in zero zero small gang warfare. Those, those, it's just those former bot players were thinking, if only we had an AE Doomsday. And here we <laughs> see that Test has not been involved in the North at all because Raiden usually bring uh, their um, Amar setup. So test, I'm proud to say, has right. no super okay. caps. We Gentlemen, barely even have caps. Three minutes. Let's no, just see some stats. <clears throat> also, uh, I've been told that. Actually, I'm not going to divulge yet. That just yet. But we forgot that Hydro Reloaded does not have an Alliance logo. Yeah, they're pretty much done. That's telling. They've been in the game since 2009. And, and, no logo. and Kill 2 is, is in Hydro Reloaded, so that's, mm. not, that's not very good for them either. No. He's but giving me dirty looks. I so see you in that cave. Hydro, of course, have only played one game because they uh, came in second last year and they got an automatic uh, through here. Shura Khan have played three. They lost against Pandemic Legion, as far as I remember yesterday. Uh, apart from that, they won their two qualifying matches. Is uh, that the oldest founding date in the tournament? That is a long, long time ago. That may be one of the oldest founding dates. I don't know that I could buy beer at that day. I'll just... Mm. <laughs> I'll, t I'll take your word for it. Anyway, uh, I'm sure Con versus Hydro Reloaded, that is going to be uh, wonderful. Remember to keep an eye on uh, both our forums, our Twitter, our Facebook, uh, anything you can get your hands on, Eon magazines uh, for contests about this Alliance tournament. There probably won't be any pick contests in the Eon magazines, but read them anyway. Uh, anyway, we're about a minute out. Uh, should we just quickly grab a last question? Uh, Glon asks, what feature would you like to see in EVE? <laughs> anything. <laughs> That's broad. I would, like to see, I would like to see fighting in stations <clears throat> when Incarnate comes out. Poker. I want to play poker. I think I'm, I want to see fighting in stations. I want to see dust in stations. Fighting in stations and poker. I want to shoot people in the back of the head like in the trailer. I, yeah, exactly. I kind of like both suggestions. Really. Oh, wait. I also want to see windows in stations so I can see what's on the outside before I undock. Yeah. He's such a backstabber at Sastra. Yeah. <laughs> Shooting. Oh. Well, I mean, she, was the, <laughs> she was the good... <laughs> but it would be kind of charming to have your Marines like, like launch a ton of marines into a station and just run in and shoot everyone. Just kill that some civilians. That would be fun. Yeah, exactly. Well, well not perhaps a few dust pilots. expansion. Ooh. Writing down business idea. <laughs> <laughs> we do actually have Hilmar on, so we have Hilmar on tonight, so maybe you can like... The big man, the big uh, boss. Uh, uh, just back from E3, where he of course announced the deal with Sony, and uh, hopefully talk about that. Anyway, uh, Ushura Khan versus Hydra? I'm going to go... Ushra Khan because they're really old and uh, <laughs> I respect I respect the elderly. Yeah, Hydra is gonna smash Ushra Khan to pieces. At the risk of having to agree with Shadoosh, I'm gonna have to go with Hydra. I'm gonna go with Hydra as well. <laughs>